What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you about reflections, all right? So here we have point A, okay? And now let's say we were asked to reflect this point across the y-axis right here, okay? So I'm going to draw a line right here, and this line is called your line of reflection, okay? So how do you reflect this point A across this line, this line of reflection? Well, there's a couple things you need to keep in mind, all right? So first of all, all you need to do is figure out how far this point is from the line. And it's one, two, three spaces away from the line, right? So if we reflect it on this side of the line, then it would also be one, two, three spaces away, okay? Now this original point is called A, and then your copied point would be called A prime, okay? The copied points or lines or shapes or whatever always have this little prime symbol attached to it, okay? And this original point is also called your pre-image, image, and then the copied point is called your image. Okay, you can look at the prefix right here, pre, right? Pre means before. So this is the point before you copied it. So then this point over here, the image is just the copy. Okay, so like I said, there's two things you need to keep in mind, right? Whenever you copy a point or a line or whatever, you need to make sure that your copied point is the same distance away from the line. Okay, so as you can see, they're both three spaces away from this line of reflection. Okay, the other thing you need to keep in mind is if you draw a straight line from one point to the other point, it has to create a perpendicular angle or a 90 degree angle with the line of reflection. Okay, so for example, if I drew uh, a line, uh, a point right here and called this a prime, well, is this really a reflection of this original point? No, it's not, okay? Because as you can see, this point right here is also three spaces away from the line of reflection, right? But if I draw a straight line from my original point to this other copied point, it doesn't make a 90 degree angle here, right? This is more like a maybe 60 degree angle or something, right? So that would mean that this point right here is not a reflection of this point right here, okay? Remember, the two points have to create this perpendicular angle. Okay, so we reflected this point across the y-axis. Now let's reflect it across the x-axis right here. Okay, so again, if I want to reflect this point across this line right here, well, point A right here is one, two spaces away from the line, right? So then our copied point or reflected point would be one, two spaces away also. Okay, so this would be A prime right there. And again, you can see that if I draw a straight line from one point to the other, it would make a 90 degree angle with the line of reflection, right? Okay, we're gonna switch it up a little bit this time. So now this is point A right here. And let's draw our line of reflection at an angle, specifically at Y is equal to X, okay? And Y is equal to X is basically just a straight line like that, right? Y is equal to X has a slope of positive one that runs through the origin right here, okay? So this is point A right here. Now, how would we reflect point A across this line of reflection? Well, there's basically a few different ways we can do that. So first of all, we can count spaces again, but this time we're gonna count diagonal spaces, okay? So we'd basically say we get one, two, three diagonal spaces, right? So then point A on this side would be one, two, three spaces away like that. Okay, so then that means this is A prime right there. Okay, and as you can see, this uh, straight line between the two points makes a perpendicular angle with the line of reflection, right? Now, another way that we could count the spaces is basically just start at your original point and then just go in a straight line until you hit the line of reflection, okay? You can either go sideways or you could go down in this case. It doesn't matter. It works either way. So here we would go one, two, three, four, five, six spaces, right? So then from here, we would go down six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we land at A prime again, right? Okay, now, what if I wanted to reflect a line like this across the line of reflection? Well, it's still the same steps, okay? The only difference here is we're basically gonna reflect two points, okay, because we have point A and point B. Okay, so first of all, if we wanted to reflect point A right here, again, how far is it? from this line right here? Well, it's one diagonal space, one and a half, right? So it's one and a half spaces away. So then we'd go half, one and a half, right? So then this point right here would be A prime. And then B, same thing. How far is it from the line of reflection? Well, it's one, 
two, three spaces away, right? So then we'd go one, two, three spaces away to right there. So then this point right here would be B prime, okay? And then you would just draw a straight line from A to B. And again, the straight lines from A to A prime, this makes a perpendicular angle. And from B to B prime, this also makes a perpendicular angle. All right, now one more uh, kind of example that trips people up sometimes is, uh, let's say we wanted to reflect this point across the line, uh, let's say X is equal to negative three, okay? Well, this is the X axis, negative three is right there, right? So X is equal to negative three is this line right here right? X is equal to negative three. Now, as you can see, this line right here runs through the line of reflection, right? So that's kind of weird. But the same exact rules still apply. Okay, so starting with point A, if I wanted to reflect it across this line right here, well, again, it's one, two, three spaces away, right? So then it'd be one, two, three spaces away in this direction right here, right? So this would be a prime. And then B right here is one, two spaces away from this line. So then B prime would be one, two spaces away right there, okay? B prime. And then again, you would just draw a straight line, right? Because we are reflecting the line. Uh, so then from A to B, it's right there, okay? And as you can see, again, if I drew a straight line from A to A prime right here, it creates a perpendicular angle, right? And if I drew a straight line from B to B prime, it again creates a perpendicular angle. All right, so now let's just run through a couple more examples where we got to set up the problem a little bit. All right, so this one says graph triangle JKL and its image, or in other words, and its copy after a reflection in the given line. Okay, so it gives us these points to plot, right, to plot uh, triangle JKL, and then we need to reflect it across this line, Y is equal to X. Okay, so first of all, uh, J right here is at six, negative three, right? Six, negative three. So that's J. K is at one, negative two, one, negative two, right? So that's K. And L is at four, one. So four, one is right there for L. Okay, so this is JKL. Okay, so then let's draw a straight line right there. Boom. Okay. Now we're going to reflect it across this line, right? Y is equal to X. Now again, Y is equal to X is just that straight 45 degree angle that runs through the center, through the origin right there. Okay, so that'd be this, uh, this line right here. Boom, nice. Okay, so now let's reflect this triangle and let's just start right here with point J. So how far is point J from the line of reflection? Well, it's one, two, three, four, and a half, right? So four and a half spaces away. So in this direction, we're gonna go four and a half. So we're gonna go one, or sorry, this is a half, and then we're gonna go one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, right? So then this point right here is J prime. And then doing the same thing with these two other points, K right here is one, and then one and a half spaces away, right? So then in this direction, we're gonna go a half, and then one and a half, right? So then this is K prime, and then L, same thing, this is one, one and a half spaces away, so then we're gonna go a half, one and a half spaces away, right? So then this right here would be L prime. And then I plotted all my points, so the last thing we have to do here is just connect our dots to create our triangle. All right, last one. So this one says graph the polygon and its image, or copy, after a reflection in the given line. And the line it's giving us is Y is equal to negative X. All right, so this is the polygon we're gonna graph or reflect across y is equal to negative x. All right, so remember the last problem, we uh, used y is equal to x, right? So y is equal to x, or in other words, y is equal to positive x, gives us a positive slope. And that means y is equal to negative x would be a negative slope, right? So this would be y is equal to negative x. So let's uh, clean this line work up. So this is y is equal to negative x, right? So as you can see, it has a slope of negative one, right? Y is equal to x has a slope of positive one. This is negative one. All right, now let's start with point A right here. So point A is half a space away from the line of reflection, right? So A prime is going to also be half a space away from the line of reflection, okay? So this is A prime right there. Okay, now point B over here. Point B, as you can see, is on the line of reflection, okay? 
So point B is zero spaces away from the line of reflection. So point B prime is also going to be zero spaces away from the line of reflection. Okay, so B and B prime are both right there on the same point. Now, uh, point C right here, how far is it from the line? Well, let's see, it's one, two spaces away, right? So then point C prime is going to be two spaces away also right there at C prime, okay? And then lastly, D right here is one, two, two and a half spaces away, right? So then D prime is two and a half spaces away, right? So half, one and a half, two and a half, right? So D prime is right there, all right? And then the last thing I would do is just connect dots, right? So A prime to B prime to C prime to D prime back to A prime, all right? So there's your reflected polygon across the line of reflection right here, y is equal to negative x. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.